What is up, guys? This is Dad's Commentary, and I am going to explain uh, missions in Call of Duty for you. If you guys are new to the channel, please drop a like and a sub, especially if you like this kind of content. I would appreciate it. But if you notice over to my right side, it says daily challenges, get three headshots with pistol, destroy vehicles, and um, get five double kills. I'm going to show you guys where you can see these. So if you notice up top where I can click quick, pro, quick play, ground fight, Ground War, Ground Fight, Cyber Attack, Free For All, Realism, and Private Match. You're going to use, I'm going to use my R1 button, and I'm move over to Barracks, and I'm going to see Multiplayer Challenges. So I'm going to click on this challenge right here, and then I can look at it. So if I look at this, I got to get three headshots with a pistol. So you're probably going to want to rank up a little bit to get a pistol, but your guy should have a pistol. You can pick a guy with a pistol. I guarantee who you pick. But you need to get three headshots with it, so you're going to want to take your time doing that. Then you need to destroy 10 vehicles with launchers. So it can be an air vehicle um, is probably what it's going to be in a, um, a UAV, something like that. You got to destroy them, but you have to use a launcher. You can't use your gun. And then you need to get five double kills. That's two kills rapidly. I recommend you do this in like domination. I like um, hardcore because you can kill them quicker. So if you have a group of people in Domination or like Ground War or something like that, you can get rapid kills. But I don't think Ground War is a multiplayer uh, challenge, but it may be. All right, so back in here, we're going to go to our missions. Now our missions, there are different missions you can activate. You can start right from the bottom and go into boot camp. So it's welcome to the fight. Complete all set of objectives to get you acclimated to the combat zone. So your final reward is going to be loot. It's going to be a submachine gun. So your first one you got to do is complete one public match. So you can see that down below. And then if we hit L2, complete get five public match kills. So you just need to kill five people in a public match. So for this one, you're going to get 500 XP, and you're going to get a calling card of Fire Warriors. The next one, you're going to get five kills and five matches. Just five public kill matches. Don't even have to be It could be 1,000 matches. If you're terrible at the game, you just need five kills. It can be in one match, it can be in different matches, it can be... So you're going to get 1,000 XP, and then you're going to get a spray called Fab 5. And then your third objective is going to be calling a kill streak. So your kill streak, you just got any kill streak, put on a low one to get it done. Put on, um, if you can get um, Hardline, that'll get your kill streaks quicker. Put that on, you'll get 1,000 XP, and you'll get Cloud Cover. And then get three kills using lethal equipment. So lethal equipment would be like your grenades, your um, bounce and betties, your claymores, whatever they have for lethal equipment. It's going to be the one, your throwable type stuff. You need to get three kills doing that. They don't have to be in the same match either. You can see your progression here. If I have this one active, you do have to have it active to do it too. If I'm just doing it, it's not active, it's not going to count. So make sure you do have it active. Oh, I'm lit up up there. And my fifth one is win one public match. So all you got to do is be on a team that wins. If you need help winning, play with me. I'm a winner. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. All right, so that is those, and you get 2,500 XP and the Piercer submachine gun. So all together, you're going to get 2,500, 2,000. That's 45 plus 1,500. 45 plus 1,500 is 6,000, 7,000, 7,500 XP just for doing that one, guys. All right, now if we go to Weapon Master, we activate the mission. This would be this one. Training in all various weapon classes will get you accustomed to their strengths and weaknesses. So this one says it's active. If I do it all, I'm going to get this handgun, the Urban Defiler. So you want to unlock this stuff, guys. This is important, and it will help you rank up your battle pass. The very first one you need to do is get 35 kills with an assault rifle. See it right down there? So 35 kills, you get 500 XP, and you'll get a calling card, Rugged. The next one, you need to get 35 kills with an SMG. That's 1,000 XP. And you'll get the calling card triplets. Now, these don't have to be done in this order. You can do them in any order, but just follow the order to be easier. Get 35 kills with a shotgun. Then you're going to get the clack boom calling card, and you're going to get 1,500 XP. Get 35 kills with an LMG. You're going to get 2,000 XP and love hurts. Love hurts. Yeah, so does your singing. All right, and then get 30 kills with sniper rifles. For me, this is going to be the hardest one because snipers are hard for me because I'm not a camper. Yes, I am. Get 30 kills with a pistol. This one will be difficult, too. You're going to probably want to do this in free-for-all, I would think. 
Get 30 kills with a pistol and using a reflex optic. So just put a reflex on your pistol. I don't know if these will count together, if you can do a pistol, if this would be like a double dipping. But make sure you turn that one on, guys. Go back in here to missions. Now if you go to Infiltrator, activate this mission. Through a variety of infiltration-based challenges, display your power prowess as a special ops tac tactician. So complete all objectives to earn rewards. You're going to get a black, urban, a Union Black assault rifle is going to be your loot. So you want to infill and complete three public matches. So all you got to do is play three public matches, and you're going to get the green team calling card. Capture 30 flags in Domination. So you do need to play Domination for this one. And you need to capture flags. And you're going to get the Medieval Spray. Execute 10 finishing moves. Now I have not done a finishing move yet. So I'm not exactly sure how to do the finishing moves. But I will figure it out. Um, but you're going to get a charm for this one. So this is going to go on your gun. I would imagine you're going to either stab, uh, sneak up behind somebody and finish them that way. So it's going to have to be a close, uh, close one. Get 50 kills with ghost perk enabled. So this is going to be a, this is my favorite perk, by the way, because then you're not seen by UAVs and stuff. This is going to be 4,000 XP, and then you're going to get the skull and blades emblem. Capture 15 flags in ground war. So it's going to be 5,000 XP, and you got to be a base jumper. Get 60 kills using suppressed weapon. So I do like a suppressed weapon as well. So any gun you have, put your suppressed weapon on, and this will give you that calling card and 7,000 XP. Capture 20 headquarters in headquarters mode, and that'll be 8,000, and you get the Union Black Assault Rifle loot, which is up top. So you uh, you do need to do all these to complete it. So if you notice, you're not just going to get that um, because you did this one challenge. You got to do them all. All right, shock and awe, guys. Let's check it out. Build your proficiency with battlefield support by calling in various kill streaks. So this one's probably going to be a little bit harder one, and there's eight of them. All right, so your final reward is going to be a standard issued light machine gun. So that's going to be a good reward if you like the light machine gun. You got to call in 30 personal radars. That's going to be 1,000 XP and an emblem. Get 25 kills with shield turrets. So that is going to give you 2,000 XP in center mass. Call in 30 UAVs. So that is going to get you 3,000 XP in the in route. Call in 25 care packages, so that'll get you 4,000 XP and ready for war. Get 20 kills with cluster strikes, so that's 5,000 XPs and Dragon's Rage. Get 20 kills with precision airstrike, that's take flight calling card and 7,000 XP. Get 30 kills with Wilson, so that is going to be a score streak, and I believe it is a score streak, I should say. That's 8,000 Wait, Wilson might be uh, might be a vehicle. So that's going to be um, 8,000 XP and off-roading calling card. And then get 20 kills with a chopper gunner. So the chopper gunner is a vehicle you fly. I made a video on that score streak. You can see it. And then you're going to get the light machine gun. So let's see here. Go back into barracks. Mission. The very last one. Oh, there's a lot of these. Look how many missions there are, guys. And I gotta, I kind of gotta stop because the screen moving in the background is actually making me feel a little sick. But those are your missions you're gonna go through, and then when you go on your kill streak, if you look, mine are locked right now. I gotta play to unlock them, so I'm gonna start with the missions. But here they are, guys. Let's see, see what they have in here. Wilson is a is a score streak, so it's gonna take seven kills to get it, guys. And you're not gonna get it unlocked until level 23. So you do need to play to get these undone. If you guys did like this video and you found it helpful, I would appreciate it if you guys could drop a like and a sub. I want to bring as much Call of Duty news to you as I can as I enjoy Call of Duty. I want to play more than just Fortnite, guys, so I want to be able to bring this content. So dropping me a like on the video lets me know you support it, and I would appreciate it, guys, very much. Thank you for watching. Dad's Commentary, out.